Hey guys, we are mid-September, which is a kind of weird uh, point in my garden because um, a lot of stuff is dormant, having gone dormant because it got so hot in the summertime, and I'm not sure what's going to bounce back and give me a second flush and what isn't. So it's kind of a weird wait and see time. Should I start planting for spring or should I wait and see if I'm going to get any more? But one thing that is doing really well still are my zinnia, which are looking great. So I thought today I would go over what types of zinnia I grew, what's been successful, what I don't like so much and what might not be coming back next year and what will be coming back next year. And then at the end of this video, I thought I would show you some of the stuff that I make. Um, I don't really show what I do with the flowers that I cut here. So I thought I'd put together a little um, recap of what I have made this summer so you can see what I'm actually doing with the flowers from the garden. For any of you that haven't been following along, my name is Peggy and I am in my second year of growing a cut flower garden here on my allotment in Kanagawa Prefecture, Japan, which is just out of Tokyo in USDA Zone 9B. Thanks for checking out my channel. So this year in the garden, I planted some Bernary's Giant White, some Bernary Giant Mixed, some Art Deco, some Signorita mix, that's a cactus one, and um, some Queen Lime red. I think it was the red, it was either the red or the orange, can't really tell because they've kind of come up brown. <laughs> um, some have been more successful, some are coming back, some aren't coming back. So let's have a look and I'll show you what I like and what I don't. Okay, so this is the Burnery Giant White and some of them have come up like this and been really big and they've been lovely. They're really, really nice. They last long, that they keep their shape and I like them. Problem is most of them, if I can find another one, are coming up more like this, which I don't love so much. The pollen drops from it and it doesn't last as long and I've had more of this type than I have this type. Now I have made some quite nice arrangements with these white ones but it tends to be the white by itself um, and I'm not overly keen on that. It also hasn't given me an abundance of flowers. Now, now that it's cooling off I have got a lot of buds on this. Buds here, buds here, buds everywhere and as you can see <laughs> I mean, stem length, they're taller than me. Um, and I am getting lots more, although they are starting to be smaller, uh, which isn't great. Again, more of these ones with the center. I'm also having a little bit of a problem because these seem to come up quite quickly and then die back quite quickly. So a lot of the time I'm actually missing the, the right time to cut them uh, and they're too far gone by the time I get here. Um, so pros and cons, not sure. Like I say, it's starting to bud up now, so maybe I'll get some nice, nicer, bigger flowers from it now. The only problem is now, it's also starting to get powdery mildew. You can see I've got the start of powdery mildew on these leaves. Now, this is kind of to be expected towards the end of the season. Everything's getting tired, everything's getting big and crowded, and it is very, very humid here, which the powdery mildew likes. So I don't know how many more flowers I'm going to get before the powdery mildew kind of kills them all off. Now I did have powdery mildew on my dahlia at the beginning of the season and I uh, managed to fix that really really effectively just using milk and water so I am going to be using that on my zinnia as well to try and get the powdery mildew off them and hope that I can get them a little bit longer but for these um, I'm not really loving them so because I've only got a four meter by five meter garden there's no space for stuff I don't absolutely love so I'm glad I tried these ones but for me they're not coming back. Not the white ones anyway. These are my other Burnery Giant and they are much more giant. <laughs> um, this was a Burnery Giant mix and again I've been away so I've kind of missed a lot of them. They've kind of gone past their best and I've had mixed results with these. So these kind of big huge pink ones, these are the ones that I've had huge ones from but only a couple. Now they have been slightly different shades of pink. This one's um, a much more vibrant pink. I had a really nice dark pink one a few weeks ago. But again, they're not giving me masses, which is what I want. <laughs> and a lot of them are coming up a lot smaller. And again, the kind of single flower, not single petal, but a lot smaller or just kind of weird shaped ones. Um, so these are starting to give me a lot more, but very few of them are actually the giant shape. But the giants that come up are beautiful. The other colors I've had, I kind of separate what's what, hold on. Uh, these yellow ones you can see down here, these I'm starting to get a lot more of. They seem to just be one or two stems 
that have come up from the mix that are yellow. They're a lot smaller and they're a lot shorter. They are quite nice, but again, I find that these kind of start to go brown around the middle quite quickly. Um, I mean, you can see some of these are still only just opening, but they're already looking a bit shabby around the middle. You know, they just don't look very fresh and nice. And these ones are only just freshly opened. I mean, here's one that's not even quite opened yet and you can already see, I don't know, I'm just not overly keen on that. Here's one, yeah, it, they go really quickly as well. Uh, as well as that, you can see I've started to get some more of these dark ones. And I mean, they are quite large, but they're still not huge. And I tend to get more of the smaller open ones again. It's kind of more, this one's just coming. Um, but they are pretty. And when you get the big ones, they're really pretty. So I'm thinking that of all of the ones I've planted, spoiler, of all the ones I've planted, these have been my favorites when they come up nice and big. Um, and, you know, I've got some red in here. I'm not a fan of red flowers. Don't know why, just I'm not a fan. Uh, so I'm thinking that I will have Burnery Giant in the garden next year. I like them enough, but I'm not gonna buy a mix. I'm gonna be much more picky about the colors that I like. I'm not gonna go for the yellow. I'm not gonna go for the reds. I think I'll stick with these kind of pink and purples um, and try and get a few more of this darker color because I really like that. And it matches more what I've got in the garden. Um, so I really liked these. I'm just going to be more choosy about the colors that I put in next year instead of just buying a mix. But I mean, the point of a mix is to decide what you like and what you don't like to kind of have a little bit of everything and then see which ones work and which ones don't. So now I know. Okay, so then next to these, I have um, these. Now these were actually recommended to me by um, one of my viewers, Heather. Hello, Heather. Thank you. <laughs> um, she recommended that I grow the cactus type and I really like these. These are all looking a bit scraggly right now. They're kind of past their best. Um, I've missed nearly all of these. But these were the cactus ones and these were the Senorita Pink. And I really liked them. They kind of look like Fraggles from Fraggle Rock, um, which is a good thing in my book. Um, I like the color of them. They kind of start a darker pink and fade out to a lighter pink. And they're a nice size. Most of them have been quite large. So I really like these ones. I'm just not down here enough um, to be able to cut them before they all go. But they do see, still seem to have a lot of buds on them. And now that it's cooling down, I'm hoping that everything's gonna go um, into overdrive a bit. Out of everything that I've grown, these are one of the shorter ones. Short by no means. I mean, as you can see, they're still chest high. I'm only five foot two. You know, it's not hard to be chest high on me. Uh, but they are giving me nice long stems. They just kind of go scraggly very quickly, um, but they're lasting fine in a vase. Uh, so I just need to get down and cut them more. But I really like these ones. So I, I'm going to have more cactus flower. I'm not sure if I'll have the Senorita Pink, but I have really liked them. So maybe I will. But I'm going to see what other colors are available too, because I like them. Okay, so then next in the row, we've got Art Deco. And I don't think these ones are coming back next year. Um, I was kind of taken in by the name. I like Art Deco. Uh, but these germinated the worst. They were the worst germination. I've got to think of my grammar there. Um, I've had to reseed these ones over and over and over again and still I've not got that many plants. Uh, I think, yeah, I think maybe half of what I planted came up and from them, they're really small, they're quite short and I'm just not taken by the flower again. It's that kind of open flower, um, which I guess is what Zinnia are meant to look like. I don't know why I don't like them. I've not had that many come up now. We did have a huge rainfall because a typhoon came through. Um, and we had a really big rainfall and they really liked it. Everything else had kind of gone dormant and shut down a bit. And when I came down, these were the first ones to start blooming after that. So it might just be that it's been too hot for these guys and that they're going to give me a better show when things start to cool down and they start to get more rain. This was an Art Deco mix, but you can see they've all come up the same. It's all the purple ones that have come up. There's not much variety in that mix. Um, so I'm not overly taken with it. They're just not wow. And like I said, with my white ones, if I don't love it, it doesn't come back. So I don't think these ones are gonna come back. I think maybe these red ones are part of the Art Deco mix as well, actually, and not the Burnery Giant. Um, but yeah, I don't love them, so they're not coming back. Okay, and then the last ones in my line here are my Queen Lime, and these ones are red, orange, orange, red, not sure. <laughs> um, Last year I grew the lime ones, queen lime limes, and I loved them. 
they weren't huge, but they came in a really strong color. They lasted really well in the vase. They looked super cool around Halloween. Um, kind of, I was painting them with my amaranth, which was the really dark red. So the dark red and the lime green looked great. Um, and they were a powerhouse. I cut them and cut them and cut them. They were one of the first to come up in the garden and they were one of the first, the last to leave in the garden. So I really liked them. So I thought I would try a different variety. And um, I've had mixed results. They've not done very well. Again, they're not doing great with germination, uh, this color. And I'm not getting very many from the ones that have germinated. Now, again, this might be, um, they're just gonna take their time and I might get them more. But like I say, my lime ones came up really quickly last year. Um, when these come up, they're kind of coming up in two colors. One is like this purpley color and this one's kind of past it. Um, it's kind of dark purpley color with the lime center. And then the other one, which is why I think it might be orange, is this. And I really like this. It's just, it's very small. I like this now, this kind of brownie, it's kind of a dusty brown color and it'll look really nice um, if I can get some of my Dahlia to come back. It'll look nice in the kind of autumn ones. You can see my Rubecchia at the back there as well. It kind of pairs nicely with them. Uh, so I quite like this brownie color. I'm not too sure about this because it just looks a bit washed out and faded. And again, a lot of them are coming up like this. Um, whereas I kind of want the more pom-pom look from them. So, I mean, the, you can see it's a very different looking flower, even though it's technically the same seed. In fact, this one's coming off the same plant. Oh no, it's not that one's there. Um, so, yeah, I think I might go back to my lime. You know, these ones that are coming up with the lime edging, or lime in the middle, sorry, are really nice. I like those. So I kind of like that back plant. Not so keen on this one. <laughs> Also last year I went to visit the gardens at the British consulate in Yokohama and they had lime zinnia and they were the lime ones and they were like this big. <laughs> they were absolutely massive. Definitely not this small. Now my lime ones were bigger like I said but I mean this is a long way off what I'm imagining these should look like. And so I don't know if maybe I just need to feed them more. I'm not very good at feeding things in my garden. That's one of the things I really need to learn and I'm going to focus on next year is trying to, um, when everything's in bloom, give them the food that they need and see if that's going to give me bigger, longer lasting blooms, which I assume it will. It's just a skill I don't yet have because I'm new to flower farming. So I need to work that out. So maybe if I feed these, they'll get bigger and I'll get the big pom-pom ones. But as it stands, these are quite small. So I'm going to put my lime ones back in next year because I really like those. And I might try, because I'm taking out a lot of the others, <laughs> basically everything, um, I might have space to try these ones again. And I know now to go for the orangey kind of brownie color because I like that a lot. Not so keen on this one. So these are coming back possibly, but with the lime ones as well. Art Deco's out, cactus ones are in, but possibly a different color. Bernerase Giants are definitely in again, just more choosy with the colors and no whites next year because it's just not my thing. Yeah. So that's it for my zinnia. Like I say, they're doing really well. They've put up, they're one of the few things that's still flowering right now. They put up with the heat really, really well, although they have started to slow down and they are smaller than I would like. So hopefully if I can get rid of this powdery mildew, they will keep going. I'm in zone 9B. I don't get a frost. I don't get a hard frost ever. Um, if I do, it's not so February. These guys should keep going if I can keep the plants healthy. So we're coming into typhoon season. These are well supported and um, it means they're gonna get a lot more rain because it's been hot and dry recently, recently, all summer. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that these will get bigger, will get stronger if I can get rid of the powdery mildew. So that is it for these. Um, if you stick about till the end of this, I will put up um, some pictures and videos of stuff I've been making over the summer so you can see what this garden's actually given me. Um, and I, if you like this, please remember to subscribe and you can follow along and see what I'm going to start putting in the garden for next year. If my dahlia come back, which I think they're going to because they're budding again. My straw flower are coming up. Um, my chrysanthemum are starting to bloom. There's still some stuff going on in the garden and I will be getting my bulbs in soon. And in the next couple of weeks, I will start doing my autumn sown seedlings. Now for this garden, it gets really hot really quickly. So I don't do spring sown stuff anymore. I've learned that this year. I am going to be doing all of my seedlings as fall planted, autumn planted seedlings. So I'm going to get that started soon. So if you want to follow along and see what we do in the garden, then to hit the subscribe button. If you want to see what I do with my flowers, you can check out my Instagram page. Um, there's a link to that below this. It's from the witch's garden. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>